try and do my best. My name is Mark, I'm a developer advocate at YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about gaming and then a little bit about some new APIs we've launched for interactivity on our live platform. Uh, first up, gaming on YouTube. Uh, it turns out it's actually pretty big. <laughs> we have a lot of gaming content on YouTube. Uh, we have a lot of gamers watching content on YouTube. Let's plays and reviews and live streams. Uh, and it's always growing. Uh, we saw this and we built YouTube Gaming. We wanted to give that content a home. So we built this place where all of our live and all of our VOD content can come together uh, in context that makes sense for gamers so people can find it and understand it. Uh, and it just looks really slick. Uh, so if you have not checked out YouTube Gaming, I encourage you to do so. It's gaming.youtube.com. Uh, and I mentioned live content. And so we really like live gaming, especially the community that kind of springs up around it. Uh, the phrase we hear a lot is, it's like sitting on your couch uh, playing games with a friend, right? When you're doing that, um, you want to play with them, right? Like you don't just want to watch sometimes. You want to you play with your buddy. You want to get the controller. Uh, and we see this too. Uh, when it works, it works well. We see people in, in like heavy you know, console games like GTA, Destiny, Call of Duty. It's a great thing to do. The streamers love it. The fans love it. It can be a little clunky to manage. People get left out. Um, it, it, it's, you know, you have to be on your couch in front of your console, computer, whatever. So there's an opportunity here to build something where everyone can participate, like something that's unique to this style of, of streaming and, and having a big at scale party, right? Uh, like if I were to call people up on stage versus have people raise their hands and, you know, and so on. So it's about scaling that community interaction. A great example of this is the game Quiplash by Jackbox Games. They actually built this game with this use case in mind. They support 10,000 players. Uh, so if I'm streaming this game, uh, I can have like eight people that are playing on their phones, uh, but then I can have like up to this, this massive audience that are participating in this, in this scaled way. Uh, and they built that with a, like a web app and a client server approach, but we can actually build these kinds of experiences directly on top of YouTube uh, with our live chat system. You can integrate with a very lightweight API and watch for keywords, hashtags, prompts, sentiment monitoring, anything you want to do. And then anyone who's watching the streamer play that game can engage and interact and, and be a part of that experience right from either the YouTube website or the mobile app. Because they, they pretty much all support chat. Any client except for, I think, the TV clients, you can jump in and chat. Um, we've just put together a very basic REST API for this. This is just a little sample of the JSON. There's a lot more data, but this is really what you want. These are the messages. You can understand a little deeper. You can see if people that are watching the stream are donating in real time and potentially unlock benefits for those people, uh, as a lot of YouTubers like to monetize their content uh, through our fan funding and sponsorships programs. Uh, you can understand a little bit of information about the people that are engaging with this content as well. You get their display name, their channel ID, and understand their relationship with the channel. Are they a sponsor? Uh, are they a moderator? Things like that. You can get their picture too. So you can put together little experiences. I, excuse my terrible mock-ups that I made in slides. Uh, but so, you know, like maybe you're doing a voting and you're putting people's uh, names on the screen and their pictures in like a face pile. Um, you can do like leaderboards if you have people that are participating in the chat. Um, and you can actually store the state uh, if you wanted to go a little deeper. Or you can just do this all very lightweight uh, through the client in real time. Uh, we made these APIs very, uh, as I said, very simple to get started. Uh, YouTube's API is actually part of Google's API. It's a question that I get from time to time. Um, the libra any library that has, uh, that's out there for Google's API surface has the YouTube support in it. YouTube accounts are Google accounts, so if you have any sort of integration, you're building for Android or any of our platforms that support identity, those are YouTube accounts as well if the user has a YouTube channel. Uh, and then of course all this is, you can use this in any engine, um, any engine that supports making REST calls basically. Um, and that is, oops. And that is it, so we, we've put this together and we're really excited about being able to offer this kind of scaled ability to, to build lightweight interactions through YouTube uh, and to see what kind of like at scale community interactions we can have. I would love to hear from anyone that's interested in this, uh, anyone who's building for YouTube in general, uh, please feel free to email me and then of course developers.google.com slash YouTube uh, is where you can get started with all that. Uh, and now I'd like to introduce Nathan Martz.